Frank Calabrese Jr. did the unthinkable, wear a wire against his gangster father, and in those conversations implicated his father in seven gangland murders. Today the son was back in town, stopping by CBS2 to chat with our John Bulldog Drummond. He's promoting his new book, Operation Family Secrets. John Drummond joins us now after all these years. That's John. right, Bill and Walter. A pleasure to be here. And you know, for 10 years, Frank Jr. had been mentored by, in a life of crime by his father, a notorious hitman, Frank Calabrese Sr. And when Frank Jr. and his father and others were imprisoned on juice loan and gambling charges, the son risked his life wearing a hidden recorder in a federal prison housing mobsters. That took a lot of nerve. Why did you decide to do that? Even though you're disillusioned, that's one thing. But well, go I'm ahead looking at my choices here. Um, you know, it's evident that my father's not going to change his ways. And I'm in prison with him, and I'm trying to change my ways. So something's going to happen when I get on the street. I need to do something here. What are my choices? And I came down to two choices. Do I wait to get out and see what happens? And, you know, one of us could get killed, me or him, and he's good at what he does. So it'll probably be me. I need to do this for the right reasons, not because I'm mad, and you know, not because it, you know, my dad's not helping me or anything. It had to be the right reasons. Thought it through, and I figured there's going to be one or two labels I'm going to have. I'm going to be the cold-blooded killer and wait and get my father when, it, when he gets out, or I'm going to work a deal with the government and I'm going to be known as a rat. Do you feel you're a rat? I don't feel that I'm a rat. I don't. Um, the term I use is rats don't run and hide. Uh, I didn't hide behind the scenes and get people in trouble. I stood out there and I went up against my dad. Now threats have now followed that dangerous assignment. Two book signings scheduled for this week in Chicago and Oak Brook were abruptly canceled today by Borders Books. In a statement, Borders says, and this is a quote, our Oak Brook store received a voicemail threatening violence. Given the controversial nature of the book, we viewed this as a legitimate threat and we'll, by the way, we'll have more to say on those threats tonight at 10 o'clock. Yeah, but will they have security out there at the book signing? Well, there's not going to be any book signings at Oakbrook. He's going to be scheduled. He has scheduled some others that are scheduled. To my knowledge, they're still on. But the two Borders ones are been, have been canceled. Yeah. Well, what does he think about his security? We'll, we'll find that out about tonight at 10 o'clock. Yeah, but we... I want to know what you think about his security. All right, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. There hasn't, uh, those who have defected from the mob, and of course he testified against his father, was a little different, but I can't recall anybody recently who had been terminated by organized crime. Frank, Colum uh, Frank Collada, for example, uh, Bill, uh, uh, Bob Cooley, uh, we had Corbett here, we had Sal Gravano, of course, uh, the Salvador Gravano from the New York mob. Sammy, they went, Sammy the Bull. Sammy the Bull, none of them, despite the fact that they uh, were defectors and testified oh. against organized crime, were ever hit, to my knowledge. They've never been threatened in that sense. But. Never can, things, first things come first. Good to see you. All right, we'll I'd see you later. I'd ask you your age, but I'd have to give mine. You couldn't count that high, probably. All right, Kate. <laughs> Good to see you. All right. Tonight, threats of violence have canceled scheduled book signings by a famous mob informant. Borders Books pulled the plug after receiving a chilling voicemail today. The book? Operation Family Secrets, the author, Frank Calabrese Jr., a man who turned on his own father and sent him to prison for life. CBS 2's John Bulldog Drummond spoke with him today about that threat. That if they go through with the book signing in the Oak Brook store, that their employees and patrons will get hurt. And Borders is taking this serious, not only, and, you know, I can't blame him because I'm not worried about sales of the books. I don't want to see nobody get hurt. Frank Calabrese Jr. is 50 years old now, but at one time the younger Calabrese was an aspiring outfit enforcer, being mentored by his father, the notorious Frank Calabrese Sr. While both men were imprisoned, the son became disillusioned and did the unthinkable, wore a wire on his dad, implicating him in seven gangland murders. If I would have lifted up my shirt, everybody in the yard would have known I had a recorder on. What would have happened? I wouldn't have never made it more than 20 feet. I would have been dead. Young Calabrese never committed a murder, but at one time, he got the contract to murder a fellow mobster. But his uncle dissuaded young Frank from taking part. As far as wanting to do the actual murder, um, we had practiced many times in the basement. My uncle was going to be in the front seat. I was practicing on being in the back seat. Now, you were in the back, were you, we had a weapon to shoot him or were you going to strangle him? I, I, uh, we talked about a weapon. We talked about a weapon. But despite telling tales out of school, 
Calabrese has refused to change his identity. You're not in witness protection. Why did you not get into witness protection? It's just not in me. It's just not in me to, to run and hide. I'm not going to stand on the corner. I'm not going to get in people's faces here. You know, my life is in a different city now. Uh, and, you know, my rest of my family lives here. My brothers live here. My mother lives here. I have cousins that live here. And I just don't want anybody to ever do anything to them because they feel that they can't get me. Who do you think is running the outfit today? I don't have any you idea. You have no idea. You know, it's nice that I don't have to know anymore. Frank Jr.'s testimony in the family secrets trial in 2007 was devastating to the mob. The younger Calabrese and his uncle Nick captivated the federal jury in its packed courtroom for weeks with hair-raising stories of mob murders that led to the conviction of Frank Sr. and two other mob leaders. Bulldog, thank you. Frank Calabrese Sr. is now serving a life sentence in isolation at a federal prison facility in Springfield, Missouri. Chicago's most famous mob informant is now naming politicians. Frank Calabrese Jr. told CBS 2's John Bulldog Drummond that the mob gets help from public officials. The outfit was getting some kind of passes from the politicians or protection from the police. Yeah, with Alfred couldn't survive without, without, uh, without politicians. Your father yeah. was making payoffs? Yeah. Who yeah. too? Um, well, there was a lot of politicians. There was a lot of deals done. Um, you know, one, one politician that I've talked about before was Jimmy DeLeo, and the reason I talked about him is because I was directly involved with that. And uh, one of the gentlemen on our crew, Ralph Peluso, originally he was involved with that. He was our go-to guy for Jimmy DeLeo. So you were friendly socially with uh, Jimmy, Jimmy DeLeo? Yeah, yeah. You, you ever take trips with him, do things like that? Well, uh, yeah, I uh, was down in Florida with him, uh, but we were in a large group. It wasn't just me and him. Um, and what my father wanted me to do is, you know, get these guys close, you know, find out their weaknesses. Everybody has weaknesses, whether it's women, whether it's drugs, whether it's gambling, people have weaknesses, find their weaknesses. It was, they love to find po the b bad politicians and find their weaknesses and make them need them. You've never yourself actually saw DeLeo involved in any illicit activity, you're not saying that, right? No. DeLeo is the former Illinois Senate floor leader. Peluso was fired from his state transportation job six months ago. Neither man could be reached for comment regarding Calabrese's statements.